Hello, welcome to Xfinity. Today I will show you the best NVIDIA graphics card settings for Adobe Media Encoder. We will fix the issue of Adobe Media Encoder not using GPU acceleration for rendering by applying many settings in NVIDIA GeForce Experience and NVIDIA Control Panel so that Adobe Media Encoder uses NVIDIA GPU while rendering. So without any further delay, let's get started. Alright, so today I am going to show you the best NVIDIA graphics card settings for Adobe Media Encoder 2020 or 2021. We are going to adjust some settings in GeForce Experience and Video Control Panel and right inside the Adobe Media Encoder so that Adobe Media Encoder may use the GPU while rendering. Alright, so the purpose of this video is to increase the rendering speed in Adobe Media Encoder. If not, then the rendering speed of the Adobe Media Encoder will be highly affected, alright? So for this you need to make sure to watch this video till the end. This video contains many parts. First of all, we will dive straight into the GeForce Experience and adjust some settings there that is required to increase the rendering speed in Adobe Media Encoder. Secondly, we are going to dive straight into the NVIDIA Control Panel and uh, change some settings to customize the usage of uh, GPU for Adobe Media Encoder. Thirdly, we are going to dive straight into the Adobe Media Encoder to apply some settings so that the Adobe Media Encoder may use GPU while rendering, alright? So without any further delay, let's get started. First of all, we are going to uh, dive straight into the GeForce Experience. Make sure the GeForce Experience is installed on your computer because it is not provided uh, by default. You need to download and install it on your computer. Once you are done, you need to go straight into the GeForce Experience. Once you're right inside the GeForce Experience, you need to navigate to Drivers. And after that, you need to click on these three dots, as you can see on the screen. Once you click on it, you will see two options here. Choose your driver preference, the game ready driver and the studio driver. Now we are going to select the studio driver because it is customized for the best experience for creative apps, all right? The creative apps includes the Adobe series application like After Effects Premiere Pro, Adobe Media Encoder, Photoshop and Illustrator and all the uh, creative apps, all right? So we are going to use the studio driver that is going to make our GPU to be used right inside the Adobe uh, applications, all right? For the first time you need to select this and you need to download and install the NVIDIA Studio driver on your computer and after that you need to click on check for updates and make sure you have the latest NVIDIA Studio driver message displayed here alright. Secondly let us dive us to alright fellas in this video I am going to show you for this you need to click on this arrow where your icons are displayed and right click on nvidia icon and select nvidia control panel now this nvidia control panel is provided by default and you don't need to download and install the nvidia control panel if you are unable to find the nvidia control panel just go to the search and type nvidia and you will see the nvidia geforce experience and nvidia control panel you need to click on it all right so once you are right inside you need to click on the first option here adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings all right make sure to select the second option here and then you need to click on manage 3d settings just below the first option and now this uh, this part is very very important you can see two options here global settings and the program settings all right if you select the global settings it is going to apply the all the gpu settings to all applications all right and if you navigate to the program settings this specific program settings is going to be applied on a specific application and i recommend to use the program settings all right you need to uh, select the drop down and make sure the adobe media encoder cc is listed here if you cannot find the adobe media encoder cc from here you just need to click on add and uh, you need to find the Adobe Media Encoder from this list. As you can see, Adobe Media Encoder 2020 is listed here. And if still you are unable to find Adobe Media Encoder, just click on Browse and uh, specify the path of the Adobe Media Encoder. All right. The default uh, path of this application is uh, the local disk C and uh, navigate to program files. 
then select adobe and uh, you can see here adobe media encoder 2020 and uh, go down a little bit and you will see adobe media encoder just click on this and uh, select open after that your adobe media encoder will be listed in these programs just to select the adobe media encoder and now i'm going to apply different settings to this uh, adobe media encoder cc all right so first of all we are not going to uh, increase the image sharpening because it does not uh, include any preview or interface for the editing all right it is just used for the output so we are going to use off and click on ok the next option is the filtering you need to make sure it is selected as a 16x all right and this option is very very important anti-aliasing fx double a you need to make sure it is turned on we don't need to change the gamma correction in the anti-aliasing mode make sure override any application settings is enabled and in anti-aliasing settings we are going to select the 8x all right next uh, this setting is very very important the CUDA GPUs all right so we are going to select this and uh, select the second option use these GPUs if you have multiple GPUs uh, these GPUs will be listed here and you must select the maximum performance GPU all right just to select this and click on OK we are not going to change the low latency mode max frame rate and uh, MFAA but we are going to change the OpenGL rendering GPU all right we are not going to use the global settings we are going to use our graphics card which is nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti and this option here is also very important power management mode we are going to select the prefer maximum performance all right and then you need to go to shader cache and make sure it is turned on and under the texture filtering quality you need to make sure it is selected to high performance not the quality all right and the last setting is threaded optimization make sure it is turned on all right don't leave it to the auto and this is the maximized and the customized settings for the DOM media encoder cc uh, so that we can increase the rendering speed in our DOM media encoder so after that make sure you click on apply when you click on apply it is going to apply all the settings and you need to wait for it once it is applied you are done with the nvidia control panel and now we are going to dive straight into the adobe media encoder all right fellas as you can see i am right inside my adobe media encoder and here what you need to do you need to navigate to this setting which is called as renderer and you need to make sure uh, the mercury playback engine software only is not selected you need to make sure mercury playback engine gpu acceleration cuda is selected all right it is very very important that we enable the gpu acceleration in DOB media encoder if you have nvidia graphics card you will see the cuda if you have amd graphics card you will see opengl or opencl here all right and then you need to go to edit and then navigate to preferences all right here you need to make sure the render under video rendering is selected as gpu acceleration cuda and uh, next you need to go to media and make sure intermediate media time base is selected as 60 frames per second all right and then you need to go to memory and make sure the ram reserved for other application is minimum for example if you have a, for example if i have a 16 gb ram then I am reserving RAM for Adobe Media Encoder up to 13 GB and 3 GB is reserved for other application. So you need to make sure drag it to the most left, do not drag it to the most right. Because now in this case the 1 GB RAM will be used for um, Adobe Media Encoder and 14.9 uh, GB will be used for other application. So we are going to make this minimal. Just drag it to the left and make sure it is 3 GB or below, alright and leave everything as it is and click on ok now you can use the DOB media encoder to output your files and increase the rendering speed all right and i hope this video was very very helpful if you still have any problem you can comment down below and after that i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible
and if you want to contact me on the instagram you can find my link from the description and contact me on the instagram you need to follow me first and then i will respond as soon as possible and i will try my best to solve your problem and i hope this video was very very helpful so make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get notification at its first all right fellas so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day